Shabbat Shalom, everybody. It's Friday, August 19th, 2011. This is Cliff Potts. We've got one story for you today that is worth looking up. It would seem that the Russians launched a satellite on the 18th and lost it. I believe that's what it said. Don't quote me on the date. You can look up the story. Now, before we make too many guffaws about this, remember that JPL crashed one of our probes into Mars on accident and lost it because somebody forgot to convert miles to kilometers. So let's don't get too many bragging rights with this one. Anyway, turns out they found it. <clears throat> yep, they found the Russian satellite. It's in the wrong orbit. I guess it decided to chase some wayward cosmic dog or something. I don't know. Anyway, like I said, you can look it up. It's an interesting story, and uh, needless to say, the Russians are going to investigate it and find out who or how it managed to park itself in the wrong orbit. Oh, that's an expensive loss. Anyway, have yourself a good Friday. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Good morning. It's August 20th, 2011. This is Cliff Potts. Just ran across another very self-serving argument from a conservative on Facebook that I thought I'd make comment upon. It is an axiom that states if you have two cents to rub together, you are richer than 98% of the people in the world. The truth of the matter is, if you have two cents to rub together and that two cents will buy you nothing, then you are not richer than 98% of the people in the world. That is a self-serving axiom that is used by the conservatives to justify the low wages that are paid by the multinational corporations. And it is a ridiculous argument, but this is how they justify their actions and their pay scales. And this is why you have incidents like occurred in London. You can excuse what happens in the United States as being a bunch of rabble. But when it happens outside the United States in a civilized country, as England is, then you have to look at what you're doing. This is Cliff Potts. Thank you very much for your time. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Good morning. It is Sunday, 21st of August, 2011. Welcome. I kind of promised myself I wasn't going to get into this political fray, and I definitely wasn't going to talk about Governor Goodhair, but here we are. <laughs> That's about what I'm, talking, I'm going to talk about here for a moment or two. Good old Governor Goodhair of Texas. He's got a seven-point plan of what he wants to change in the Constitution of the United States. He wants to abolish the lifetime tenure for federal judges by amending Article 3, Section 1 of the Constitution. He says that uh, Congress should have the power to override Supreme Court decisions with a two-thirds vote. He wants to scrap the federal income tax by repealing the 16th Amendment. He wants to, and I love this one, end the direct election of senators by repealing the 17th Amendment. He wants to uh, take it back to where the states appoint the senators. Like, we don't have enough... Ah, uh, what do you call it? Bureaucracy and graft going on in D.C. now. Let's see what else does he want. He wants to require the federal government to balance its budget every year. <clears throat> the federal constitution, he wants it to define marriage as between one man and one woman in all 50 states. Then, <clears throat> last but not least, he wants a constitutional amendment to make abortion illegal in the United States. I guess all this plays really good in the South. At least that's what some of the comments I've seen are saying so far. Now, uh, 
little while back at what is called a meet and greet in um, Iowa, I think it was. Governor Goodhair accused Bernanke, the Fed chairman, of being treasonous in his opinion. Mind you, this is coming from a man that not too long ago made not so thinly veiled suggestions that Texas should pull out of the United States while sticking his hand into the federal trough to take whatever he could except for the benefits for unemployed workers. Go figure that one. On another note, and I'm running just a tad bit long here, and I want you to look this one up for yourself. The link will be in the info. There is a woman who is 70, has a terminally ill husband, and is being evicted by Bank of America for paying her mortgage too early. Figure that one out, because I sure can't. It's Cliff Potts. Have yourself a good day. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. guess you can call this breaking news. Um, by the time you get it, of course, it's going to be old news. It looks like the situation in Libya is all but over, except, of course, for the shouting. One has to give kudos to Big Oil for uh, securing the supply lines to Europe. And, of course, as was pointed out, the IMF for creating a central bank for the goat farmers. If we were to have a revolution here in the United States, do you think NATO would uh, you know, bomb the U.S. Army and Air Force so that we could win our war? Somehow, I, I just don't see that happening. <laughs> This is Cliff Potts. I'll talk to you later. Bye -bye. And uh, one more thing while I'm at it. <laughs> Hope and change from Obama. What was he talking about? What, 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 what was he hoping for? And where is that change? <laughs> I mean, I'm, maybe I'm missing something here. I don't know. <laughs> tell me, tell me, please. Tell me. It's Monday, August 22nd, 2011. This is Cliff Potts. I have something to say today, but before I do, there's something going on in San Francisco as we speak. These tweets are coming live from A-N-O-N-Y-O-P-S, kind of short for Anonymous Operations. Um, basically, Anonymous has been tweeting activity against the BART police officers for some time now. Exactly how long, I can't really tell you. And as of today, they are demonstrating against BART's decision to shut off cell phone uh, service last week. Now, <laughs> as of right now, the BART police, due to a peaceful demonstration, which has been broadcast on ABC out of San Francisco. Due to a peaceful demonstration, the BART police officers are locking down BART transit stations. Now, if you, if you don't know who BART is, BART is the municipal railroad um, electro, electric system, electric train system, that uh, services the entire uh, San Francisco Bay Area. BART stands for Bay Area Rapid Transit. It has been the scene of a number of incidents involving BART police officers uh, acting brutally dating back a number of years. And now Anonymous has targeted them for live demonstrations and live denial of service. And they have gotten a pretty good crowd. However, once again, the BART police are overstepping their boundaries and they are arresting people for chanting 
and they are shutting down the BART stations. Mind you, there's a pretty good crowd forming, but nothing near the numbers that it would be for a sporting event. And mostly, they are staying within the structured framework of how one behaves on a BART station, with the exception of their voicing their opinion against the BART police. This is going on right now. I know that uh, you will not get this video uh, until later, but if you can uh, tweet into, um, again, it's Anani, Anani, Anani Ops, so that's A-N-O-N-Y-O-P-S. You can find them, link up with them, which is going to be interesting uh, over the next uh, few days, and I'll get a lot of information out there. Now, that's the uh, one thing that's going on right now. The other thing I wanted to talk about, Obama did this big bus trip which Newsmax happened to point out that the bus he, that he was riding in was built in Canada, but I don't think that's a big issue. He did this bus trip for three days to ask small-town America what it's going to take to create jobs. And I guess he's tired of hearing from the big cities. Truth of the matter is, uh, if I were to say anything to President Obama, it would be this. 90% employment in the United States has always been in small businesses. Small businesses come out of the middle class. If you destroy the middle class, you destroy the small businesses. If you destroy the small businesses, you destroy economic opportunity for most people. That's where your problem lies. You're destroying the middle class. Come to grips with that, you'll solve the problem. This is Cliff Potts. Thank you very much. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now. Okay, I'm at 11 minutes, 55 seconds as of the mark. Uh, I'm going to let this one go. I'll post it here in a few seconds. As always, may your God go with you. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.